Hi Center, welcome to our series of tutorials for student laptops. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to Moodle, how to log in, and how you enroll in your teacher's course. Your teacher will not troubleshoot issues that you might be having with your laptop or your Moodle account, but there will be someone from the technology department to be around to help you with account information and other issues you might be having. So let's try this. And teachers, be ready to pause the video for students to access their Moodle account. But before we do that, let's first get to Moodle. You will need to launch a web browser and go to moodle.center.k12.mo.us. Notice in this web address that there is no www. Your username is your normal center username. That's going to be, oh, and you can see once that I've tried there, that's going to be your normal first initial last name with your uh, series of numbers behind it. Your password is your normal center password. That's with the capital CSD and then your lunch code, six numbers um, that follows your CSD. If you're new to Center, you should have received your login information from the counselors as you enrolled in your courses. If you do not have this information or if you don't have your laptop today, you will need to try accessing your Moodle account at a later date. If you cannot log into Moodle, please raise your hand and your teacher will only record your name. Again, they will not do any account troubleshooting with you. So teachers, please pause this video now so your students can access their Moodle account. Okay, I hope that went okay for everyone. Once you have logged into Moodle, you will find your teacher's course by searching Moodle. The very first time you log into Moodle, you're gonna notice a lot of courses. Scroll to the very bottom and the search feature is down there. You are going to search for a term that your teacher gives you. Likely it will be their last name or their course name. Once you have found the course, select it and enter the enrollment key that the teacher provides you. It will be important you type it correctly. It will be case sensitive as well as space sensitive. There is no reason it would work for others in the class and not you, so listen carefully to the enrollment key. This concludes this tutorial. Teachers, if you have a Moodle course to enroll your students into, now is a good time to give them your enrollment key. Thanks for your attention to this tutorial.